Hi everyone and welcome back to Wonderlust Gaming. So today I'm gonna show you how to set up a emulation station on the RG406V and I think it's like a really really great uh, front end and probably the best one. I had Daihishu but I didn't like it at all. Uh, this one's more straightforward, very easy to install so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and it just like set up, uh, you know, it just properly uh, formats all the games into the uh, right folders and everything and it just looks so much better than uh, you know what you have like currently right without the system so I'm just gonna go here and show you really quick what you need to do so for step one you need to you need to uh, delete every app that this uh, system comes it with so you know there's gonna be a lot of the emulations but I don't like them because they might have um, malware or viruses so what you're gonna do you're gonna click on everything that's uh, that came with the system you're gonna go here hold it app info and then uninstall everything and then there's some that you cannot uninstall like the clock you know the you know the basic stuff that it comes with and then after that after you do that you you have to make sure you download gmail and then you set up just like a like an easy to remember uh, username and password just for this uh, device right because we're gonna send the you know we're gonna purchase the patron for the um, emulation station and then you're gonna email it to this device so what you'll do is you'll just go into your uh, email and then you'll get a link into it here and then you just download it and then you install it you install uh, you just follow the steps It's very easy to follow them but if you can't find them they're here under files you go where it says downloads and he, here you can see it's right here so you just install it and follow the directions and it's very straightforward guys there's nothing crazy about it so you're gonna do that because it creates uh, folders where all the ROMs are gonna go so that's very important that you do that before so that's for step one now for step two guys you're gonna download every emulator that you're gonna be using so for example I downloaded Drastic, M64, Dolphin, Dog Station and you also have to download RetroArch this is very important guys because you know this is uh, what's gonna allow you to get your achievements and everything so after you do that we're not gonna touch the emulators yet first thing we're gonna do is uh, set up RetroArch so what I suggest that you guys do here uh, we're gonna go into uh, let's see let me just uh, hold it here we're gonna go where it says uh, load cores and then you go where it says uh, install or restore a core and my suggestion oh yes yeah, download a core so just download every single core for every emulator and that should be it you know for for this you know and then you can go where it says uh, retro achievements here let me see you uh, I'm sorry achievements and then you just put in your uh, username and everything if you have a, a retro achievements account and this is very important guys because this is where I messed up last time you have to save this because after you do all of that work uh, you go into configuration file and then you have to make sure that you save your content otherwise it's not gonna save your username and all the cores that you downloaded so that's it for RetroArch guys so the next step we're gonna go into every emulator and then we're just gonna direct the folder into the every single emulator I did this already so it's already set up here uh, so you just like you know once you get your ROMs you're, you just direct every single emulator into the into the proper uh, th uh, folder right so before that too I forgot to mention guys that you guys have to go into your files here so I'm just gonna put in this uh, SD card here really quick this is where it goes so we're gonna inst uh, put in the SD card once it's inside you go into okay SD card is now available so you go where it says SD card here at the bottom and then you just go 
where it says where you have your folder. I you know I uh, I made a folder on my computer and I just name it ROMs, and then you have here for example 3ds ROMs. So for example in this case you just want to tap here, you select every single one of them, and then you just move you, where it says move to internal storage where emu emulation station is set up and then for example you go here all the way where you created the ROM folders and then here it's gonna say like um, hold on actually internal storage okay it's right here ROMs so where when once once you create it uh, it's gonna have like a folder that says ROMs emulation station and here's gonna create like every folder that I was telling you about for like every single emulation so you just find the 3ds one um, okay let's see so I'm just gonna make an example here because I cannot find it right now so let's say like this is the let's pretend this is the Nintendo 3ds uh, emulation uh, ROM folder so you just click in it and then you just move here you don't have to create a new folder nothing make sure that you don't you don't create like a folder within a folder you just move the ROMs into the ROMs uh, dedicated emulation folder and then you just click move there and that's it you don't have to do anything else so once you do that uh, then you can go into like the you know where every uh, into the every emulator and then just click where it says like to di to direct the folder where the ROMs are located so you just do that and that's it guys that's basically all you have to do uh, once you do that let me just go back in here and then you just like once everything is connected you basically just go into your front end and then you just you can play like any game let's see la Let's do some Game Boy Advance. And it's gonna launch the game. And it's gonna show your retro achievement login and how many achievements you have. And that's it guys. It's, it's very simple but very hard at the same time. It took me like two days to figure all that stuff because there's so many tutorials. But a lot of them are, they're not updated. Uh, so that's the problem a lot of them are just for like other Ambernic devices so you just kind of you know that's why I put this tutorial together really quick uh, so you can just see you know but this is very important guys the file folder you know uh, you just grab all the ROMs from your SD card and then you just move them to the proper uh, ROM folder that you know emulation station creates within your device okay so that's that's basically it you know i have internals i have 50 gigabytes and i still have my my roms on my sd card so that's how you move your roms from the you know your computer to the device and here are some other things that i'm going to show you guys really quick uh for example the rgb colors you know you just go here i have everything on high mode and, and defend strong and the games run really well um and if you want to change the RGB lights, you know, you go here, you hold it, and then you can change them and stuff like that. And also for the emulation station front end, if you want to change, there's so many ways to change here the uh, the themes and everything. So you just press start, and then uh, this is how you scrape all the games. You just select basically which system you want. You click all of them, and then uh, it, it will run by itself and here's the UI you can download all the different themes that they have and everything and then there you go guys that's I think this is a much much better um, much better way to have your all your emulators and everything the emulation station guys it costs five dollars but I think it's a good investment you know it's only five bucks and you support the developers you know so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section or everything okay have a good day bye bye